Okay, here's a recording that I made uh, sans audio. All right, isn't that great? All right, let's try this again. Let's do this. Uh, it's Mr. Bellion here for my grade 9 and 10 students uh, at Castlebrook Secondary School. Let's recreate this. Okay, a couple things. I'm just going to take a basic cylinder from here, add a sphere to it, and combine it. Okay, that's the method that we want to work with. So let's just create one. Boom, right here in the center. And polycylinder, you guys know this. Let's try the height at 3 and add some uh, height segments of 5. And I'm not really going to do much up here because I'm not going to use this area. Actually, let's just uh, let's add 2. Change it up. Okay, and I'm going to do something interesting here. I'm going to right-click on this right now. Go to Edge and double-click. And R for scale. You know, scale this one out a bit more. I'm thinking of taking this edge here. Anyhow, uh, W, and what I want to do now, right click, go to object mode, and bring this up to 1.5 on the Y, because it's 3 high, and this puts it on ground plane right there. Okay, good stuff. Next, I'm going to create a sphere, and W again, move that up, because, uh, look at that, that's kind of cool, right? Okay, let's just bring it down like that. That would be kind of interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do normally, because you guys are in grade 9 and 10, I'm not going to get too technical on this. And normally I would clean out the edges, three, um, throw out the, the faces. But for now, I'm just going to select the first piece, then hold shift, select the second piece, and go to mesh. As long as you're in the polygons, guys, go to mesh and combine. Okay, there you go. Now the two are one. So if I press W now, watch what happens here. And I said I press W. There you go. It's all one piece, right? Um, again, we've learned to use the edge loop, so we'll go to, under the object mode to uh, edge, double click, uh, W again, bring this down a bit so you can see what I've made over there. We're going to do something like that. We don't have to do it exactly. It does not matter. So there's that. Okay, I move that. Uh, let's go in here and uh, select face one selection, hold shift and double click. Basically, you've got the whole thing. And then I'll go to extrude. Again, I'm repeating the techniques that we've learned. Nothing complicated here, okay? Done. All right, and let's come in here for a second and see what we can do. Go into edge mode and double click on this edge. R for scale and bring it in. Okay, so this is looking a lot better, I think. A collar for this pawn. And we'll click again. Notice that I am actually using the middle cube here and I'm left dragging and I'm just bringing it in like that. Okay, that's not too bad actually. I'm okay with this. This looks pretty good. Okay, so let's maybe add a collar in here. If that's what we want to do. I need to add more edges. Okay, so I'm in object mode and I'm going to get out of scale. I want to come here where it says uh, edit mesh, insert edge loop. Love that. Okay, so what's what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make an ed. I'm going to add edges here and perhaps there okay and as soon as you finish making edges you need to get out of it so press w all right right click here uh face boom double click on the next one we know how this works right guys if it doesn't work let's do it again spin around find another angle double click there we go no worries edge again let's crank this to maybe 0.2 sweet that looks pretty good actually all right i like it like it a lot so what i'll do now um hmm looking a little boxy so first w to get out of this uh, right click edges boom and let's bring this down a bit okay yeah that looks okay very simple let's have fun up here a bit okay now um what did i do over there i had a collar and so on okay no worries so we'll do this i'm spinning around okay and you need to be comfortable in this okay i'm holding option and middle scroll button as you can see and I'm holding Option and left clicking to spin around like this. Um, right click, let's go to face mode. And unfortunately, this won't work with a double click. So we'll just have to go individually, okay? So watch this one, boom, boom, boom. And we are selecting. And sometimes, folks, inadvertently, you may be selecting other faces. So maybe good practice to just spin around and make sure you haven't selected anything else, okay? Looking around, not bad, looking good. So let's bring the simple extrude button. Okay, so again, all simple techniques with a few tools you can get really far. Let's bring this one up, very nice, really high. No worries, looks okay. And I'm gonna come in here, double click, and I'll extrude this one as well. If I press G, let's repeat the last command, and here we go. 
Oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, I think I like to print this out one day on my three on the 3D printer here. But okay, so far so good. This is our piece. Uh, I'm happy with this. I don't want to make it. Uh, I'll make a long uh, tutorial for you guys. Remember, um, once you finish working on the piece, always go to object mode. Okay. Otherwise, Maya is going to say, "Do they want edges? Do they want what do we want here? Do we want faces? Do we want uh, vertices?" So it's a good practice to right click and go to edge mode so you can do other things. Okay. I think this is looking pretty good. All right, and you can see I made a different one over there, but again, these are just test chess pieces. Our pawn is looking good, and I'm good to go. I will save my work, obviously, save scene as in the recorded area. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Balian out here. Okay, bye-bye. Stop capture.